Healthy habits are things you do um, all the time that increase your well-being. And unhealthy habits are things you do some of the time or all the time that increase your well-being and emotional health. I think 10 healthy habits follow every day would include things like uh, sleeping, getting enough sleep, eating a proper amount of food and drinking proper amounts of water, having some creative outlets uh, to explore what you like doing, taking good exercise at appropriate uh, times in the day. Uh, taking regular breaks is also a very good habit to form. Connecting with people who you care about and who care about you in terms of reaching out to friends and family is a good habit. Learning new things, reading, being aware of what's going on around in the world is also very good. But creating time for yourself. Um, finally, the 10th habit, creating time for yourself, having uh, peers of kind of silence and solitude are very good uh, for people's well-being. So those are 10 habits I think you could um, focus on. Five unhealthy habits to avoid from my perspective are things like not getting enough sleep, not eating or drinking enough fluids, um, using substances that make you intoxicated, um, piling stress up by taking on too much work, and not exercising adequately. Those are five habits that just come to my mind that are not healthy. Um, it's about modeling healthy habits, showing them that bedtime is important. They need more sleep than adults need. Uh, helping them to take care of themselves in terms of washing their teeth, uh, making sure that they're clean, habits around you know tidiness, habits around managing emotions that may come up such that you explain to them being able to calm themselves down instead of having temper tantrums, habits around forming friendships, being kind, being courteous, um, getting involved in sports, whatever type they like, spending less time on the iPad or the mobile phone, uh, connecting with relatives, and uh, generally having a, a curiosity about the world around them and encouraging them to ask questions of themselves and parents those are some of the kind of things I think children will benefit from. I think you start that by helping them understand exactly what they're doing that is increasing their well being and basing a kind of incremental approach to the specific behaviors they need to, to, to enact to keep those habits. And it will involve things like if you're not able to exercise, can you start a, a very small or regular exercise regime and build up and not expect to be doing an hour and a half every day, but start with something you can actually do five minutes, a walk. Things like taking a bit of time breaks during uh, uh, work hours, just a five minute break to clear your head, um, drinking lots of fluid during the day, eating at the right time, having healthy snacks. Those are some basic things, but it's about getting the habit formed. And it's about recognizing that if you plan it against uh, particular times in the day and you're regular about it, then you build the habit. It becomes almost a default automatic uh, way of doing things. But it takes time. And I think, as I said before, the first step is to audit what you're currently doing, decide what's helpful and try and cement those habits and decide what's unhelpful and try to remove those habits. I think there are lots of things about having people holding you to account, people who you care about, who you tell what you intend to do, and they become your supporters and encourage you. There are apps and programs you can use to keep you on track. Uh, there are ways of making sure you design the habit into your everyday life. So, for instance, you want to um, jog in the morning. Uh, what route are you going to take? What route is least stressful to get to? What time do you need to wake up so you can meet your other commitments? Uh, how far do you need to jog? Or if you can't jog, can you walk? Um, how can you set yourself a target of waking up every time, uh, at the same time every day? Those are kind of things that help with habit formation. And there's a thing about making the habit kind of easy, obvious, satisfying, and something that you can repeat all the time. And those are um, the, the features of habits that people tend to keep.